There's been um, a lot of focus on the rising importance of sub-Saharan Africa as the shift in power to emerging markets continues. So we know that Asia Pacific is the fastest growing region in the world in terms of its economy, but sub-Saharan Africa is actually following closely behind. And Neuromonitor predicts that real GDP growth on average this year will be 5.3% for the region as a whole. So it's the second fastest growing region in the world. And there's a lot of interest in the region because of its natural resources, its rising middle class, um, and also the fact that we're seeing a rise in South-South investment, which is when emerging economies invest in other developing countries. So China is a good example of this. It's investing quite heavily in the Sub-Saharan Africa region as a whole. Um, the biggest advantage that Sub-Saharan Africa has, though, is in terms of its demographics. Its demographic dividend is going to be really key to underpinning its long-term growth potential. So it's got the fastest growing population in the world. Um, its population will grow by 17% overall in 2013 to 2020, and that's well above the global average of around 8% growth. Um, so this is really important because it means a growing um, pool of labour in contrast to the ageing population trends that we're seeing in many advanced economies. So they're battling shrinking labour forces. Euromonitor predicts that the total population of sub-Saharan Africa will exceed 1 billion by 2020, so that's a huge um, pool of labour. It's also got the youngest population in the world. 70% of the population are under the age of 30, and it's the fastest urbanising region, so there's going to be huge potential in terms of its urban population growth, um, and we predict this will grow by 28% in 2013 to 2020. So again, lots of opportunities in terms of urbanisation. Um, there are risks and challenges to doing business in Africa, though. Um, we know that there's obviously a lot of conflict, food insecurity, corruption. It's obviously got the highest poverty rates in the world, and rising income inequality is a major challenge as well, um, as are infrastructure deficits. The biggest challenge for governments um, will be to create enough jobs for this growing um, pool of young um, labourers. So um, if job creation doesn't keep up with the demand in terms of the pace of economic growth, then we may well see social unrest in the future. But in terms of its consumer markets, the young, urban, middle class, aspirational African consumer will be a key player in driving growth in the region going forwards.